how is everyone doing today? Tania B here. I definitely thank each and every one of you who have is watching this video right now for my subscribers and even my non-subscribers who could be subscribers if you like what you see. So today I want to speak about when to make peace with your ex. When to make peace with, with your ex. That's something that actually just came to me today as I was in my meditation because right now I'm in the process of writing my book. It will be coming out in May. Yay! So, and I was thinking about like just my ex and my situations and when did I decide to actually make peace with them and well, make peace with each other. So it seemed so out of three out of the five women who I've dated, three were just toxic. OK, it was abusive. We was fighting all the time, cussing each other out. But we was somehow not actually getting out the relationship into one of we just part of ways. It was too much. It was just too much, you know. So when to actually make peace with them. So when did I make peace with my ex? I'll say the three out of the five because the other two, they were peaceful. Okay, we, we broke up, we separated, we ended our soul contract in a peaceful manner. It was the other three that was a lot of chaotic and problems that was happening in that relationship, okay? Now, all of them, now, as a, in this day and age, in 2021, I've made peace with all of them, okay? It was during different stages of the breakup time. So typically, time definitely passed, okay? Time definitely passed. A good amount of time, um, probably at least a year, I would say, where all three of them, or it probably could be a little bit more, but like where all three of them were, uh, where I made peace with them, okay? So one of them, it was to the point where we started to actually hang out. I was meeting her girlfriends and we was went to the club a few times and I felt good because the peace was genuine, okay? Another time, somehow we just connected from, you know, social media and we talked about it. I just remember being on the phone, I was outside, it was dark time, and I was I was probably doing some sales job or something. And we just talking on the phone. And we was talking about the relationships and she was talking about how much she had grown and how, you know, we both was taking responsibility of how we was how we was acting. And ever since then, we never like hung out or anything like that, but there's no bad blood, okay? And the other girl who we was hanging with and partying with, with girlfriends and stuff, you know, I helped her out a few times, no bad blood whatsoever. I actually consider her a friend, that one. Another one um, that I was with, that happened we had some time apart we definitely had some time apart and i was not at peace with myself i was for real for real trying to still get back with the person okay so we still had a long separation and i wasn't at peace yet i was still feeling chaotic so there's no way that we could talk about it in that way but we finally made peace when they wanted to see me and i was already like in my surrender mode so they probably felt that energetically like i was in surrender i'm not here to chase them or anything like that anymore because i'm doing my spiritual work i'm just like you know what <laughs> if it's meant to me be god it's meant to be i'm just gonna surrender and then boom they called me and we had a great time we had a great time and after that i got ghost she ghosted me for two months, you know? And I finally called, I was like, what in the world, what happened? Like, we, we had a great time. And so in my mind, that's another thing to be, you know, when it comes to going back to, to your exes and stuff, even hanging out, make sure there's nothing there, okay? Because during that process, I got kind of swooped right back in. Like, oh, this could be my boo again. No, no, that's not way to go, okay? Here to make peace here to make peace they ghost me they doing their own thing but we still talk and we let it out it was like everything was just let out on the table and i found my peace 
You see what I'm saying? So when do you actually make peace with your ex? First, you have to make peace within yourself first before you even think. And sometimes you, even talking to them physically or seeing them physically isn't necessary. Um, isn't really necessary depending on your relationship. Everyone have their own relationships. Some may resonate with what I'm talking about. Say some uh, some of y'all experience may be completely different. Just completely different from what I've dealt with when it came to making peace. Some of y'all may still have not made peace, but you know what? Making peace with yourself will trickle down and make peace with them. So I had to realize that first, but then to have it within myself first before I could even think that things will go in a in a divinely matter, I would say, if I wasn't right within first doing those situations and th through those conversations. So when to make peace with your ex, it's really up to you. It's really up to you when you are ready to, but it's that feeling inside where, hey, not trying to get back with them, not in some type of vendetta mode, you know what I'm saying? If you need to probably get everything out your chest of, of maybe things that you may held in, let let your ex partner know before hand that what is your true intention. But it's up to y'all. There's really no rules to it. There's no rules to it. I just say, let the intentions be known. Have peace within first. And then peace without will happen regardless if you talk to them or not. Okay? So, go with your own flow. Work through your forgiveness process. Everyone had a different experience with their partner. So we all really, all of our stories could support one another. Keep that peace within first so that peace from the outside will be automatic. And if you ever do speak to your ex or, or see them because it's just maybe it's just something that y'all feel like y'all need to do to help that the letting go process. If you two want to support each other, you don't have to at all. Everybody's situation is different. But I know for my situations, we all have had heart to hearts about the, how the relationship went. What have we learned? So, just keep loving yourself for real. And that peace will come. All right. Y'all have a wonderful evening wherever you are. I appreciate y'all once again. Hit that like button if you found some value. Definitely share with anybody who you may think this could be of value for. And I appreciate that in advance. Y'all can reach me at 248-17AMB. Y'all can text me on that number so we can discuss further. If you feel like you resonate with me, you feel like, wow, man, I think she in my soul drop. Just text me. All right. At 248-17AMB. All right. I love y'all. Keep loving yourself. Peace.